Okay, hello everyone. I know it's been a little while, but we're back here with Rainbow Clan, and first of all, as we know last time, unfortunately, about what happened to Hawkpaw here, and it seems like Hawkpaw wants to warn Ridge Peak about something. We'll have to see what that's about. But yeah, um, these two got their warrior names and became uh, mates last time, but I've actually gone ahead and uh, changed both of their warrior names from what they were before in honor of um, Hawkpaw's memory. So now, Firepaw has become Firehawk and Spotted Paw has become Spotted Feather, like Hawkpaw, Firehawk, and like the feather of a hawk. So yeah, they'll be able to carry on her memory now. Um, but other than that, we can see what everybody else is up to. Um, Queen Dawnstar didn't need to know that. King Rabbit Scar is signing cats to hunting patrol. We will be doing that, of course. Thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. Well. Um, you won't ever have to ha have it, but I mean, our lore is that, um, there's probably some cats in our clan who came from a kitty pet background, so don't be too judgmental. Um, Ridge Peak's feeling excited, which is good, but also, um, was it you or someone else? Yeah, it was you. Hawkpaw wanted to warn you about something. Refer wants to go on hunting patrol, we could do that. Reinforcing the camp wall. Oh yeah, you're the one who is an ostracized warrior that we took in. Um, no one really knows why, so I guess we'll have to keep an, our, an eye out on you, because you are a charismatic warrior. And, um, let's see, Ant Tail's in the medicine den for no real reason see your relationships. You really get along with Rainfur. Rainfur's Rain the medicine cat, right? Sorry, it's been a little while since I last played this, as you probably know. Yes, you're the medicine cat. Um, hopefully you'll be getting an apprentice soon. And you're our mediator, and you are our king and queen, technically leader and deputy in, in the game files, but we're playing them as a, a queen and king. And, um, what's it called? Yeah, our mediator is Ridge Peak. So, um, what I think we're going to be doing, actually, with the mediator role is, um, randomizing. Oh yeah, you do like Sipface, I remember that. Um, randomizing two cats for the mediator to, um, mediate between. So Anttail and Firehawk. We're not allow romantic, but um, yeah, we're just gonna mediate. And cool. I see. I think Firehawk. Firehawk is patient, so she would get along with others pretty easily. And Spotted Feather is strict and extremely smart. They're both extremely smart. All right. I think we can move on to. Oh, and we just reached one year of being a clan, so that's pretty cool. Still no kits though, which there probably should be. Um, let's send out- well you were spending time in the medicine den, so let's send you out. They feel a presence, join them, proceed. Connection waivers, alright. Oh, they didn't collect any herbs, that's not good you guys. Um, we have a clan of 10, and um, we can care to, for up to 17, so we do have enough to hold to, hold us over for now, but we're gonna, um, need to, uh, yeah, get more pretty soon. And, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, we'll randomize two to go on hunting. I know R a rift for wanting to go hunting, and an odd sound coming from the long grass nearby. Hmm. Skunk. Oh boy. That's not great. I 
hope that didn't affect anything. It doesn't seem like it did, but all right. I know, I know I gotta stop the lip sm smacking thing. Actually, I'll be right back. I'll add um, rabbit scar and soot face to the border patrol. Um, I'm gonna try to make this an extra long episode uh, just to make, sh to make up for uh, me not doing it for a little while. Oh, I was just wondering if my mic was on. My mic is on, thankfully. Um, a hiss of pain? They quickly followed the sound. It's a loner. They appear to be injured. Bleeding out. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Um. I guess these final three can go hunting as well. Spotted Feather is tempted to eat the prey. Oh no. Well, you have your literal queen right there next to you, so I'm kind of hoping you wouldn't do that, but we're gonna proceed to see what you do. They resist the temptation going on to make a couple of good catches. Okay, that's good. I mean, you had, yeah, you had the queen rot watching right over your freaking shoulder, so that kind of would have been bad if you didn't do that, but, um, yeah, um, about that roll I talked about before, about, like, the magical items we could potentially find that would be able to, um, give us different abilities, like bringing a cat back to life, or just like some other thing, like maybe giving a cat kits or something. Um, be sure to comment down below how we could maybe come across it and what role could be better for that. Maybe it's a mediator role that could do that, or maybe a medicine cat would be able to um, do magic, or we can make a, a new role, like the mage. Or, I don't know if it's called a mage, actually. Maybe I'll just call it a wizard or something. But we could potentially introduce magic elements for sure. If that's something that people would want to see in this series. So, be sure to comment what kind of, like, unique aspects you would want to add uh, to this world. Um, but yeah, I think we're ready to move on to the next moon. Let's save that, of course, and... I also haven't decided fully um, how punishments are going to work in this clan and how rules are going to be formed. Rainbow Clan does not have enough health and medicine cats. Uh oh, Queen is... Oh, wait, what? Wait, let's just go one at a time here, okay. Um, the Queen feels like the responsibility of leadership is crushing them. That's not great. The You have the throne here and... Um, you gotta take responsibility for your royal subjects, so hopefully that won't be too bad. Um, Riffer is expecting kits with Ridge Peak. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, we kind of need that. Hopefully in this episode, we will get to see them be born. Um, yeah, I think I will end, end the episode on the moon where they are born, so we can get to see them. Um, and poor Rainfur sprains her paw. Yeah, we're gonna have to have one of those kids become a medicine cat apprentice, honestly. Because we, we kind of need the help. Um, feeling gloomy, that's not good. Sharpening their claws. Um, you're playful, but you're also an excellent fighter. Hopefully that's a good for a good reason. Um, basking in the sun. Wondering what what the queen is thinking well she's not feeling too great right now so uh, maybe you should go check up on her um much needed herb to a grateful medicine cat okay good you're bringing herbs to her but we won't be able to go on an herb patrol this moon that's really unfortunate um grooming their soft fur okay um do you have any relationships in this clan yet uh you know firehawk Soot face, uh, the king and queen, of course. You dislike the queen a bit, that's not great. Uh, you dislike the mediator, and you really dislike Spotted Feather. I don't know why, but okay. Um, set a good example for younger cats, okay. It's good. She's really, like, improved her attitude a lot. She used to be kind of an outcast, but she's really, like come to fit in more with the rest of her cats and yeah her poor former apprentice maybe that changed something about her um definitely plotting something okay hopefully not too nefarious there so face um 
staring off into space. Feels that a new rule should be added. Well, we are in the process of developing rules currently, so if, if you can think of one. Um, you guys can also comment about rules that could be added um, if you want to see that. So yeah, unfortunately, no medicine cats this time around. So I guess we'll just focus on the others. Two for border. Large dog. Um, well, we do have an excellent fighter, but I'm not going to risk it. We're not quite experienced enough as a clan for that. Um, hunting. Prairie dog. Okay, good. We caught a prairie dog. Prairie dog. It's hard to talk sometimes. It really is. Swallow clan patrol. Well, let's just greet them. It's your quick acknowledgement. Okay, we have a good relationship with Swallow Clan, it seems like. And why don't we um, have these two train? Spotify asks Firehawk if they think they're a good teacher. Spotify feels like they'll never do a good enough job. They always thought Spotify has done great. Aww. That's good. These two have a really sweet relationship. I'm glad to see them um, come together in that tragedy that they experienced. Uh, let me see something here. Dawnstar and Anttail. We're not going to allow romantic, but um, we can mediate between them. I wonder if should, uh, we could sabotage sometime, but I don't think there'd be a reason for that. Um, mediate. Good. Oh, and I actually forgot to check um, relationships. All right. This Firehawk thinks that Spotted Feather is so much braver than them. Ah. Uh, Rainfair wants to sneak along the border with Ridge Peak. Okay. Sipface said something that rubbed um, the queen the wrong way. That's not good. Um. King Rapid Scar is talking with Rift for Queen Dawnstar had a disagreement with the king. That's not great. You guys are kind of having a hard time, huh? That's not good for us. We don't need a crumbling kingdom here. Antel meows, congratulations to Ridge Peak. Uh, Spotted Feather bickered with you for. Yeah, those two don't like each other for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Um, Riffer bristles, being scolded by Sootface. Riffer is older than you, Sootface. You should not be doing that. Um, Euphor compliments, compliments Ridge Peak. And Ridge Peak is sharing um, prey with Spotted Feather, okay? Euphor, you gotta stop that, man. You're already suspicious. Yeah, well. Let's go to the next moon. Refer thinks they will have four kits. That would be a pretty good amount. Um, the sprain is feeling better, thank goodness. Sufface's leg was dislocated though, uh oh. And Ridge Peak sprains their paw. That's not good, you're kind of old, Ridge Peak, so. Yeah, be careful. Uh oh, Firehawk caught the spotted feathers in a lie. Hopefully, not a really serious one, but okay. Subface is talking with the, the queen. Now you guys are getting along, okay? Um, Rainfur thinks how lucky they are to have someone like Refer as a friend. That's nice. Um, and these two not getting along again as well. Sharing prey with you for. I was gonna mediate these two this moon, but um, with Ridge Peak injured, I don't know if we can. And Spotted Feather is jealous of the king's prey. Maybe he's eating a bit too much rabbit, like his name. Ant Tail sparred, sparring with Sootface. That's good, those two get along well. Refers telling a story to Sootface. Rich Peak Drags in a fun. God, I can't talk at all. Um, but yeah, actually, Sootface is getting along with others. Hopefully, for good reasons, Sootface. Feeling. Decorating their nest. Play fighting with friends. What friends do you even have? Uh. 
wow, you really dislike her, but also you like her a lot. That, I guess that's just marriage. Yeah, as I said before, peak, peak straight marriage right there. Um, you do really get along with Refer, so I guess I'll give you that. Um, oh, you, wow, you actually have one romantic like with Refer. That's concerning. Even though these two are mates, um, well, it's not like, it's concerning because, like, I don't want you to cheat on her, but, like, I guess there's nothing technically wrong with that. Although cheating is technically wrong, so, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, looking forward to today, okay. Chattering at the birds in the trees above. And yeah, as I suspected, you can't work this moon, that's not good, but we can get more herbs, so just hang on there. Um, feeling underappreciated, oh, I'm sorry. Um, who are you have a good relationship with? Wow, you get along super duper well, and you actually have one romantic like to him back, dang. Uh, you have more, um, more romantic like with your mate. Uh, but you also have more dislike with him. You don't like dis- You don't dislike Rabbit Scar at all. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to think about that. Okay. We'll just let that play out. Um, Craven is a frog. Don't know if we're gonna find frogs in the open meadow valley, but okay. Curious about other clans. Yeah, um. We've come across Swallow Clan so far. Angrily clawing up the ground. Are you mad because you like dislocated your leg or whatever? You have one romantic like, and Aunt Till has uh, like one and a half, kind of, with you. Reinforcing the nursery, probably helping out Riffer. Um, we're gonna not send Riffer out because she's gonna have kids. Um, I kind of wish the game automatically did it so that like. They couldn't leave camp. Actually, I'm gonna turn queens into mediators. Um, at least sometimes, just uh, momentarily, cause so that I don't forget, and so she can't leave the camp on patrol um, until she like heals at, from having them. But I'm gonna use this opportunity to fix the relationship a bit. I. Uh, Dislike decreased a, a little. All right, cool. Um, anything else you need to do? Oh yeah, the, the actual patrols, of course, I'm stupid. Um, who, you can go with you for, I guess. The warrior escort is unusually quiet. Probably rather than leave for calm as they could. And I hope and think what legacy they would leave if Starkling calls upon them. Huh, worried about your legacy, huh, Eufer? Raspberry and Dandelion. Eufer and Eufer spend the time on the patrol discussing how to scare Clovers. Yeah, I've seen this um, happen before a few times with other uh, clan gen clans. Um, that's good that Eufer is comforted by that. I don't know what his intentions are in asking that, but okay. Uh, one, two. Go on a border. This is pretty risky. Uh, I wish it listed their experience level on the side right here. So I'm gonna say no, I'm sorry. And um, you can go hunting. Two legs. Also no, I'm sorry. That just like that moment with Hawkpaw like just traumatized me. I I feel bad taking any risks because like their experience is still like average, 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 and low for some of them. So a lot might happen if we do that. Um, huh. Here's some of the outsiders, I suppose. Laura, Glass, and Zoe. Hmm. All right. Interesting rogues. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, we could go see those, uh, kits now that Refer will have, and, um, I might actually not end the episode right there, we'll have to see, uh, maybe a little after that, 
because I was going to give an extra long episode, so I will, in fact, do that. We might go a few moons after that. Um, so yeah, let's see. Rich Peak has been impatient for the end of Riffer's pregnancy, and when they hear Riffer has gone into labor, they drop what's doing. Okay, yeah, she didn't have, in fact, have four, so I'll be excited to see that. And Rich Peak, uh, her... Um, his sprain has healed so he can work again. That's good. Um, Rainfur explains Sootface. Yeah, it seems like Sootface might have a permanent um, condition. Constant joint pain. Ah, oh, that's not good, girl. I'm sorry. You're pretty young for that. Um, and sore. Yikes. Farhawk is sharing gossip with ant tail is good right for sharing prey with rabbit scar so face reminds rich peak to gra grab something okay that's good oh come on you two you're still having negative things and now dawn star is going behind his back you you guys are never gonna have an heir to your throne i swear to god um ant tail helps rain fur pick out birds Spotifer appreciates Rich Peak, always asks how they're doing. That's good. He's a nice guy, huh? Riffer finds Rich Peak acting uncomfortable. That's not good. That's your mate. Oh, and one of the kits, huh? How are you being scolded by a kit that was literally just born? I don't know, but okay. Maybe later in the moon. New fur is giving ant. I don't think he has the authority to give anyone a task, but um, yeah, cute, super cute. Let's go, um, here. Spending time grooming. Uh, wonders who will give them nine lives. Well, who knows if you will get them at this point. You probably won't. Um, I mean, yeah, you won't, because your, your child is supposed to be the one that will get them after you guys, but whatever. Feeling nervous. Um, wants to spend time alone today. Napping. Think how awful kitty pet food must taste. Okay, thinking about kits. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I could make you guys mates, but I don't necessarily want to interfere too much. Um, but I can definitely mediate you. That's something I can do. Plans to visit the medicine cat. You too. Has been tough on the cells. That's not good. Alright, let's see. Cicada kit. Um, charming female kitten uh cool spring kit male nervous kitten he's very cute i like how he's very spotted and wheat kit female quiet kitten i don't know if i like the name wheat kit i might change it to something else um for her because she's very very cute and wheat is not that cute of a name it's kind of cute but i don't know what else could it be i think i'll call you um, poppy kit. Yeah, I think that fits you well. And timber kit. Um, yeah, you can be timber kit. I usually think of that as not really a gray color, but, um, I think that's fine. But you're a little bully troublemaker. Male kit. Um, alright. Well, we'll have to see which one of these, um, four ouch my back sorry um can grow into the medicine cat apprentice because i will be making one of them the medicine cat apprentice even if one of them doesn't choose that for themselves because uh rainfur needs the help and she's getting pretty old uh so yeah let's go on patrol now oh, wait actually first let me mediate uh these two first of all Why did their romantic like- wait, what? Is it just me or did the platonic like go down? I don't- I feel like some of his stuff went down, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, and then... Oh, you can't work, goddammit. Um, I shouldn't have wasted that, but... 
I'll take you out of the mediator role because you're already in the medicine cat den, you can't leave anyway. Uh, and we can go on patrol. And with a random cat, uh, and tail as usual, okay. Presence join them. Damn it. No herbs. That sucks. Border. Pear clan. Interesting. Alright. Relationship improved. That's interesting. And hunting. The king is tempted. Uh oh, that's not good. Gives into their grumbling belly. No one will notice. Dang, no wonder you get like chastised by your like wife all the time. You're you kinda suck sometimes. Um and then you guys uh we'll do another border. Nope, never mind. Okay. Um Next moon. Ridge Peak travels to Missile Clan. So we have Missile Clan, Swallow Clan, and Pear Clan. Interesting. So faces soreness is gone. Dawnstar has gotten heat exhaustion. Timbergate has gotten fleas. Uh, not not great. Um, talking with Subface. Rainforest is letting Spring Kit share their th their troubles. Mm -hmm. What troubles do you have, Spring Kit? So this face reminds Ant Tail to grab something. That's good. Let me see. Uh, yeah, cool. All right. Rabbit Scar defends it face. Interesting. Very interesting, huh? They're both kind of violent cats, so... Dawnstar swaps with Anttail. Anttail caught Rainford complaining about them. Uh oh But Anttail and Rainford get along so well. Oh well. Spotted letting Cicada Kit share their troubles, huh? Riffer complains about Poppy Kit. Don't complain about your kit. Maybe that's what the kits have troubles about. Maybe Riffer is not as good as a mom as I would have thought. You're a thoughtful, good teacher, though, so... Like... It says you have really good relationships with your kids, but... Oh, you like... You do like Timber Kit more than the other three. Maybe they're feeling like you have some sort of favoritism? And like you like him the most or something? And the other three are feeling jealous and left out? And like, he is the one that looks the most like you. So maybe they're kind of not happy about that. We'll have to see where that goes. Cause yeah, Cicada Kit and um Pop wait. Cicada Kit and Spring Kit were sharing their troubles. They were like venting their troubles, and um Riffer was complaining about Poppy Kit. Those are all three besides Timber Kit that had a negative effect on this moon. And, um, you first smiles at Poppy Kit, that's good. Ridge Peak is jealous of Spring Kit for some reason, your own child. Maybe you guys aren't great parents, I don't know. Cicada Kit said something that rubbed Timber Kit the wrong way. Oh god. Like, maybe Cicada Kit's making a snide remark about how Timber Kit is the favorite. And, he, and Timber Kit is not taking that well. Yeesh. Spring Kit caught Poppy Kit complaining about them. Hmm. Maybe they heard their mom complaining about Poppy Kit and now they're turning against her too. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, and Timber Kit is jealous of Spring Kit. Um, Spring Kit's prey and Poppy Kit apologizes to Timber Kit and they have a laugh about it. But at least they're getting along. That's not what I expected. I kind of expected Riffer to be a better mom than that, but, um, okay. Wow, that's really pretty. Another outsider. 
we do anything? I guess not. It's a really pretty coat. <sighs> but yeah, let's see how everyone's doing. Ugh, I didn't need to know that. It feels overworked, feeling nervous. Wants to know Ant Tail better. Um, well, you can do some mediation for Ant Tail and Soot Fur. Cool, cool. Um, wishes they were still sleeping. Even though you have kids to take care of, girl. I know you're a thoughtful, good teacher, but maybe you're not actually a good mom. Not, not quite sure about that, huh? Purring formally. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm cracking my knuckles. Tries to set a ex good example. Yeah, for the new kids. Um, craving the taste of frog. We're not gonna get some frog here, girl. Is eating some fresh kill, okay. Wants to be chosen as a new deputy. Well, that's not gonna happen, because you're not the heir. You would have to be Dawn Star's daughter for that to happen, but uh, it's good to have ambitions, I guess. Um, maybe we'll have to think about that new wizard role. And if we could give that to you or not. Staring into space. Cool. Asking older cats how kids are born. Um, I think you're a bit too young to know that. You too. You guys, oh my god, both of them are like asking some interesting things, huh? And Timberkit is sneaking out. Planning to sneak out. Huh. Okay, well, I'll go over to the next moon, and that will be our last thing. Uh, we won't do any patrols. Um, oh wait, no, I forgot. Scratch that. We have to do patrols for this moon, and then I'll end going into the next moon, and we can see what happens. Um, so, you fur, you can go with rain fur. Um, to get some moss. Okay, good. You guys can go hunting. Oof. Nah. Too risky. You go on border. Spotted Feather starts telling the story of their ancestors. Well, they all have a really unique um, set of ancestors because they all come from different places like kitty pets, loners, rogues. Yeah. Alright, and we'll end it here. Not enough medicine cats. Ugh. Heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and rain fur misstepped. And sprain their paw. Great, great. <laughs> um, nervous for their apprentice ceremony in three moons. Um, playing with a stick. Wants to stay in the den. Wonders who their mentor will be. That's a good question. Uh, well, you get along with... Well, you know those two, but yeah. Caught scent of a fox. Craving rabbit? Well, we can get that. Gathering herbs. Had a nightmare. Fetching more herbs for the medicine cat. Yeah, it really seems like she's doing anything but, like, caring about her kits. Huh. Mediating a long-time friendship between two clanmates. I know who that is. These guys. That's right. Feeling happy. Wondering what it would be like to be leader. Well, you technically are a leader. You both rule together. You're not gonna reign by yourself, Rabbit Scar. Daydreaming. Okay. And relationships? Um, chats with Spring Kit about their day. Good. Rainford tells a joke only Spotted Feather can understand. He <laughs> so face caught Dawn Star in a lie. Uh oh. Rabbit Scar getting scolded by Spotted Feather. I don't think Spotted Feather can do that, but alright. <sighs> Dawn Star saw it. Soot Face miss an easy catch, huh? Ant Tail thinks Firehawk has a strange sense of humor, huh? Spotted Feather gets along with Ant Tail. And a Riffer. Oh. Huh. Riffer finds Timber Kit acting uncomfortable. Maybe that's because you kind of like fed into his ego and like we're like expressing favoritism so he got like a really big ego and yeah you still like him more so you maybe you're kind of creating a little monster he was already a bully so who knows what kind of cat he's gonna grow into because of you 
and wow you have really high platonic love insecurity that's uh huh not sure what to think about that See. Rich Peaks discussing clan news with Timberkit, huh? Eufer is talking about his troubles with Dawnstar. Cicada Kit caught Spring Kit complaining about them. Yeah, a lot of turmoil is brewing between the siblings. And Spring Kit is bickering with Poppy Kit. But they're also getting along, so, huh? Timberkit caught his dad in a lie. Wonder what kind of lie that is, huh? Yeah, well, I guess what we learned today is these two aren't as great parents as I really thought, I guess. Um, there's also an incre increasing amount of loners out here. Uh, loner, rogue, kitty pet, loner, loner. Interesting. So yeah, till next time, guys. Bye.